Greetings, everyone, with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro coming up. I'm Mike Emmerich. We got a chance to be around one of the best teams in the league that we're going to watch tonight. What did you take from that? They have great confidence. I mean, when we had a chance to visit with them a few hours ago, they just have a great confidence about them, understanding and knowing who they are, the structure that they play with, and know that they can play with any team in the entire National Hockey League, but a very confident bunch each and every night. The Ducks' identity has been on full display all season long as they sit near the top of the league standings. They understand who and what they are, and that's how they approach each and every night, regardless of the opponent. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. A win in his last game, so he gets the nod in this one. John Gibson, American-born Pittsburgh, spent two years in the U.S. National Team Development Program before spending two seasons with the Kitchener Rangers of the Ontario Hockey League. Great mobility, fills a lot of space at 6'3", 2'10". The referee has checked. The goal lights work. Let's see if anybody can light them. Mid-year, and you never know when a game is going to have significance. Perhaps this will be one of them. Anyway, it's underway. Muscled long to Hamannick. Cut that pass in his own end. He's got this one. He's got to hurry. That puck came back to neutral ice, and so things will have to regroup. Propelled to Getzlaff. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Gathered up again by Getzlaff. Forcing attention in deep. Terrific defensive work. Snapping a pass to Brody. What a heavy hit. Lindholm's play is so energetic early. He wants to get hit in so his team knows that they're all ready to go. Really good cut of the pass. To the point it comes. On to Fleury. Loose pocket went off somewhere. The Ducks are skating it up at neutral ice. Shoots it off. Score! They jumped up on the bench beside me pretty quickly here. Very excited on the one side to have the game's first goal. That is the first goal scored after a lot of work. Great start. They were ready to play, and it shows on the shot clock as well. They won the faceoff. Scored by number 67, Richard McKinley. Assisted by number 37, Nick Ritchie. Stepping behind the net, what will he do? And at an angle to Raquel. Pass attempt to Fleury. Laid on to Hickey. Chip to Fleury. Rister from the slot. May not have intended it, but it hit him. Puck loose. Good defensive positioning there. Shoots. He saved it. Strong save. Fantastic setup and equally great stop by the goaltender. New parking area located beneath the stadium. Under eight minutes gone. The Ducks lead 1-0. The Whalers win that faceoff. And so this is sent back down and icing is called. Whalers are only half of the group in this game that has played very well over the last 10 games. Both of these teams have played almost identically. Their records are almost identical as they've head into this matchup. Long lead pass to Carrick. Save! And he puts the glove on it and stops play. a solid face-off win. 
using the point. He's got it. Slid to Nash. Point blank save. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Bumped off. That was one. He'll get the number off. One way to wear down your opponent, play physical. That's exactly what happened there. Doesn't get the shot off. Passing one off now to Gagne. And he dumps it in. Puck is thrown to Eves. He's got that one measured in the attacking zone. A good stick stop. The goalie doesn't have to do much with this, but he's able to use his stick to make this save. Solid face-off win. Anaheim's in their own end and controlling the play. Makes that play deep. Whistle is blown. Penalty call. Guilty party departs. Perry's getting a penalty for slashing. It's two minutes. Well, that's a blatant slash, Doc. Anytime that you slide your bottom hand up your stick and swing your stick, you're going to the box. Seattle's power play gets its first chance in this game tonight. Always important to win the special teams battle, or at the very least, to come out even. Terrific poke check. Pitching this one to Marner. Loose puck knocked away by Henrique. It's dumped in. Looking to Marner. Pitching it to Ajo. Seattle's got it and moving up the wing. Played in the corner by Fleury. Propelled to point. Oh, that was close. We sometimes forget the speeds these guys are playing at, but accuracy is a key in creating chances. And now it's directed to Ajo. Crosses that line. Great save. That puck is held, and the whistle stops play. Faceoff is one. No! Puck grab. They've got it ready. And the play goes off. You can get new styles of jerseys, shirts, hats, and more in our team store. Anaheim's come up big on another faceoff. Shot it back out of his own end. Nice work by Brody. Seattle's power play unit let them down this time. It was a chance to tie the game. Gathered up again by Fowler. Moving it to Raquel. Can start the attack going in the zone. On the outside, a shot. Save there. Directing that one to Ajo. That pass along the boards. On to Fleury. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. Trying to go to Montour. Got that one ahead at center ice. Has it picked up. Snapping a pass to Ajo. Passing one off now to Brody. Just couldn't make it. From that cluster of players, kicked out. Skilled play by Brody. Wonderful chance was set up, and the pass just goes wide. Nice save with the glove. And decides to just cover it up and get the whistle. Well, it looks like the shooter's just trying to get this puck on net. Routine stop for the goaltender, not much challenge. Drop. They lock up, and that's a good job by the winger. Somehow, this one's going to come free. Inside the final minute, those cursed goals in the final minute. Will we see one here? Good place to shoot from, and he does. Blockered away. 
The Whalers are moving the puck in their own end. To Gore. Pass attempt to Pearson. Free puck off a defender. First period has been completed. And so, intermission activities are forthcoming, but the players get a breather. The Ducks leave the ice with a 1-0 lead. Hey fans, now is the time to pick up your team calendar. Anaheim's one-goal lead came on this play. I want to show it to you one more time as we go to break. Puck dropped and the clock moving in the second period. Puck is thrown to Fowler. Pitching this one to Getzlaff. Has that one measured in his own end. Looking to Brody. Boomerangs it ahead to Marner. He's got that pass off the wing and can move ahead. Pitching it to Perry. Just great positional play. Looks over his options from the corner. A good stick there, so no complete pass. Has it back deep. And now it's directed to Hamannick. Seattle's looking to head man up the wing. Fires! Didn't miss by much. You have to give yourself a chance here. You cannot blow this puck past the net. Moving it to Perry. Stolen at center ice. Directing that one to Hughes. Nice work with the stick. Poked it right away. Trying to go to Fowler. Picks it up back there. Shoots one. Not through. Well done with that pass. That wasn't a very dangerous opportunity at all, but to be sure, the goalie drops to the butterfly and turns it aside. Dropped and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. Bunted down. And down to Raquel. Back to the point. Oh, what a block. And he gets it back. They keep applying the pressure. Good territorial play for them here. Out at the blue line. Centered. Swung back to the point. To the half wall. Back to the blue line. Threatening an attack. Big blast. Collected in the corner. Stick is no good on that shot. A busted stick on a play like that. Oh. Chips it back. Sends it back the other way. Just couldn't find the target. There's not really much place to go with the shot. He's trying to be perfect. He misses, and the puck rings around the boards. Right in front. And a save. Play stopped. That puck is just him. Good face-off win. Anaheim's got it between the blue lines. Using the point. And the pickup. Snapping a pass to Pearson. Steps across that line. What a hit that was. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Seattle sent to the box for two minutes. It's tripping. Now, oh, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. Anaheim's power play unit makes its debut tonight. It's a great opportunity for them on their first power play. 
Get the puck to the point. Get it to the net. Crowd the net for rebound. It's out of the zone. Passing one off now to Kasha. Grabs that pass in the offensive zone. Anaheim's in their own end setting things up. Pass attempt to Kasha. And that's an offside. Every time we come here, it's that way. A sellout. What do you think goes into that consistency? You got to have a good team, Doc. They do. You love the in-game experience here in the building. None better. The Ducks from the neutral zone start to work. That puck's loose. A good defensive play. Whistle is blown. And a man with guilt all over his face is going to the box. Seattle's got two up on the penalty board for delay of game. He was trying to play it off the glass, but he missed. Every game presents a fork in the road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five-on-three power play, and it begins now. One of the biggest problems on a five-on-three is teams are too cautious. They don't shoot the puck enough, and they make it too easy for the penalty killers to kill it off. The Whalers possess the play in no man's land. And he dumps it in. Puck is thrown to Getzlaff. Let's it go. Save. That one's slung back out, and so there's still some more time left on the power play. Anaheim's in their own end and carrying it on. Pitching this one to Perry. Very important steal for him. They can't be that sloppy with the puck, guys. Every time they get it. They have to make as sure a play as they possibly can. Saros makes the save, not even breaking a sweat. He's in good position. That allows him to make this stop. Just over eight minutes still showing on the clock this period. Anaheim's ahead, 1-0. The Ducks get the draw. Many yards gained to Manson. Wonderful stop. Gets it out. Still time on this power play, but not much. To Perry. Looking to Raquel. The Whalers have killed off a long penalty. This ought to inspire them to go the other way. Laid on to Getzlaff. Tips it back. Picked up by the defense. Seattle's continuing to probe up the wing. Smart recovery by Getzlaff. Steps in from the neutral zone. Collected by Perry. He turned it. Terrific stop, but it's loose. Oh, he'll take shots like that all night. Keep feeding him those muffins. He's going to stop every one of them. Puck drop, face off one, and the winger stepped right in. Driving in from no man's land. Pitching it to Fowler. Anaheim's along the wing at center ice. Oh, broke it up. Chip to Henrique. Swept on to Comtois. They score! Very often you have that much time to let go a big slapper from that close. Saros thinks he's got the net covered. He drops into his butterfly. He's out on top of the crease. He's in good shape. However, there's enough room for the puck to go in. Anaheim's built a 2-0 lead here. Scoring here late in the second period. A huge advantage in time of possession for them. And finally it shows up on the scoreboard again. Recollects it. Got it on his stick in the slide. Now it's directed to Hughes. Is able to move on in. 
Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Moving it to ease. Lost possession there. Seattle's leaving its own end. That's a good defensive stick there. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. Gains the zone. Nearing the last minute of this middle period. Last minute of play in the second period. That's it, Rip. Say. The Ducks have dominated much of this game defensively. They've denied shots to the net. Their goaltender hasn't had much to do, but he's been sharp on the relatively few chances he's had. They lock up from the draw, and the teammate puts the grab on it. Leads that charge into the zone. Directing that one to Cassian. It's dumped in. Trying to get it back out there. Two periods are in the books here, and so one more to go, and maybe overtime, but it's been an entertaining first two. Be sure to attend our Auto and Light Truck Show next weekend. The Ducks have a two-goal lead, and the one that made it to was this one. We'll be right back. Two periods played, one period ahead. What are your thoughts so far, Eddie? Seattle's got a real tough task ahead of them as we get ready for the third period. They know they're facing a hot goaltender. They know they've created a lot of chances. They need a bounce. They need to get a greasy goal. In order to do that, you've got to put yourself right in front of the goaltender. He cut him down on that rush. A shot. Great save. Holds on and gets that whistle. They won that battle in the dots. Loose puck did not go well. Trying to go to Kasha. In with it now. Great job in his own end with that interception. Snapping a pass to Hoffman. Passing one off now to Perry. Intercepts that pass on the attack. And he holds on, and the whistle stops playing. A little under three minutes have gone by in the third. Anaheim's got the lead in this game, two to nothing. The Ducks are looking to make a play out of their own zone. Slides it to the point. Takes it to the corner. Terrific determination by Perry. To Hamannick. Pass attempt to Ajo. That's how you break up a play. Carries it on in from center. Hard work here. Nice work with that stick. Knocked it away. He chipped that one off the boards and ahead. And at an angle to Kasha. He scores! Three in a row! What a quick release on that snapshot. No way he's going to miss from the low slot. No, you can't stop 90% of the puck, apparently. I thought he had that one. However, it just trickles past him into the goal.
substitution made. The Whalers are trying to change momentum here. Their starter had just a rotten night in goal. They'll get the backup in there. Anaheim's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. The Ducks win the draw. What's next? Gains that offensive line. Slit to Manson. Let's a shot fly. Turned away with a stick. Puck is thrown to Hughes. Pitching this one to point. Stole that pass away in his own end. And holds on to that puck to get the whistle. Over seven minutes off the clock. The Ducks, with that goal, have now taken a three-goal bulge. Good job on the draw. Anaheim's in their own end and has possession. He gains the zone. Pass off the woodwork to Ritchie. Rebounds it forward to Raquel. Intercepted that one at an important place. Oh, the pass just didn't work. And he slides it on through the middle. A big collision in the middle of the ice. That's one part of the game the fans love is contact, and it doesn't get any bigger than that. The Ducks control the play through the neutral zone. Missed the puck on the shot attempt. Up to the point. Two immovable objects against another one. The boards. Anaheim's play has put them in a spot here where they can look forward to two points if they can continue to protect this shutout. They have had an outstanding game. Let's it go. Puck ricocheted off the screen. Looking to Fowler. Pitching it to Comtois. Pass finds its way ahead to Henrique. That's a free puck thanks to the play by Cassie. Steals it in the attacking zone. Great save in close. Now that's a timely save. A beautiful one. In the whole scheme of things in a hockey season, you have some long home stands and you have some stretches away. And the stretch away begins after this game. Solid clean win. That puck's loose, not too well handled. Skates it into the zone. That pass was off the mark, so they'll have to try it again, organizing at center. Offensive possession here. Made the save. Perfect pass. And ring more bells on that one. One after another. 50-50 grand prize winner. Tonight's jackpot is larger than ever before. The Ducks prevail again. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Seattle's moving the puck up the wing. Terrific determination by Suster. Brings it in for an attack. He's got that pass at the point. Solid glove save. Just a little over four minutes remaining in the third. Do you see a pattern developing here? They're up now by three. From the face off, and they lock up in a good reach. That's help from the wing. Now it's directed to Hoffman. Little pass that can start some progress ahead. Moving it to Perry. Propelled to Getzlaff. Tries to get it over the line. Outstanding job done at the blue line to hold the pressure off. The Whalers with a clean win on the draw. Walking a thin line near the border there. On to Kasha. Strong shooter against a strong goaltender, and the guy with a trapper won. 
And so the final minute of period number three. One team has really looked forward to the end of this one. The other is going to enjoy even these last seconds. In that defensive zone, an important play. Directing that one to Perry. Cuts off that pass in the attacking zone. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Nicely received at the point. Outstanding glove save. That shooter might want to check his stick. If that's all that he's got in the arsenal, it's not going to score very often. Quick work on the faceoff. Got that! Tremendous scoring chance. And on top of that, another great stop. Amazing reflexes. Took that away in his own zone. Pearson's turnover is one of over effort. He wants to make something happen. He turns the puck over. Now they got to chase the puck back down. Couldn't retain possession. Tremendous job done defensively there with a poke check. Looking to get it out. The game is over. The Ducks have one big in this one. Much easier to play with the puck as they did all night long. And again, we thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the evening as much as we did. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.